Hello friends. Today we will learn about the prairies, a grassland in temperate region. Most of the grasslands of the world are found in the temperate zone. This zone lies in both the hemispheres. In the northern hemisphere, it lies between the Tropic of Cancer 23 and a half degree north and the arctic circle 66 and a half degree north in the southern hemisphere it lies between the tropic of capricorn 23 and a half degree south and the antarctic circle 66 and a half degree south these areas are called by different names in different continents prairies in north america steppes in russia pampas in south america wells in south africa downs in australia savanna in central africa prairies are a vast stretch of flat land covered by tall grasses The grass is green in summer and turns brown in autumn. There are no trees. Earlier they were the grazing grounds of bison. Today most of the land is cleared for agriculture. Very few of these animals are found now. Grasslands have lower temperatures and rainfall. as they are located far away from the equator prairies are vast stretches of gently sloping grasslands located in the interior part of north america they include the southern part of canada and central united states the western part of the grassland is hilly while the eastern part is flat the rivers mississippi and the missouri drain this region the climate of the temperate grassland is as follows winters are cold and dry summers are hot with a moderate rainfall moderate rainfall of about 50 to 70 cm with a variation from year to year occurs in this region during summer this type of climate is called the continental climate hot winds called chinook blow in the spring the prairie region lies in a rain shadow area an area which is away from the path of rain bearing winds most parts of these regions are dry or receive less rainfall therefore this region is almost treeless a few trees are found along the river side grass grows well and the western part which is hilly is used for cattle grazing The eastern part is used for maize cultivation and the central fertile area is used for the cultivation of wheat. Amazing fact. The prairies are called the greenery of the world because extensive wheat farming is carried out there. The prairies of the United States are sparsely populated. Most of the people are descendants of the European settlers while others are farmers. Some grow crops and some rear livestock. Those who rear livestock are called gauchos. The farms in this region are huge and extensive. They occupy hundreds of acres of land. All the agricultural activities are done with the help of machines and other scientific methods. 
fertilizers are also used. Wheat is produced in a large quantity. So this region is sometimes called the wheat basket of the world. Other major crops of this region are maize, barley, rice and oats. Do you know? Soil in the grasslands is very fertile and is called Chernozem. Another occupation of the people in this area is rearing of animals. The western part is not suitable for growing crops because it is hilly and infertile and the rainfall is low. That is why people in this area rear animals. This region has estates of farms called ranches where cattle are reared. The cattle provide food in the form of milk and meat. Cows are reared for milk and milk products. Beef or meat is an important part of the diet of Americans. Chicago is an important center for slaughtering animals. Beef is exported to European countries. Many minerals are also found in the prairie region. A large number of ore crushing factories and oil refineries have been developed. Meat packing and flour mills are the most important industries. Let us summarize. The temperate grasslands lie between 23 and a half degrees and 66 and a half degrees in both the hemispheres. The temperate grasslands of North America are called the prairies. The prairies lie in Canada and the United States and are sparsely populated. They produce a large quantity of wheat and are called the wheat basket of the world. Ranches are the farms where the cattle are reared. Meat packing and flour mills are the most important industries.